Hi guys, welcome to your favorite channel, Motorader. Hi friends, unfortunately we are not riding this week and the only reason for that particular problem is because it's been raining cats and dogs in Bangalore. Last couple of days it's rained very badly and because of that, there is a lot of water on the ground and it doesn't look like it. In this case, riding has been very unsafe. Hence I decided not to ride this week and instead connect with you guys through this video and talk about three things that I'd like to share. First thing is with regards to my bike and my biking experience I have owned Domino 400 for more than 9 months now and uh, it's been a great journey with the bike and I'll share you my experience on it. Second thing is with regards to my bike's modifications whatever the mi minor modifications I've done on the bike I will show you those and um, you know most of the bike is stock but then a few minor modifications that I've done I'll show you that. Third but not the last what are the things I do to keep my bike in tip-top condition, how I clean my bike and how I maintain it. So yes, let's continue with that and uh, we'll head straight to, a, to my bike and um, we'll talk about that later. So guys, here it is, Domino 400 from Bajaj, ownership of 9 months and I've done 9000 kilometers on it. There has been no mechanical issues with the bike and it runs very smoothly. The bike was launched in December 2016 and I was in the first lot of buyers so I got it in January. Uh, the bike seems to be a little heavy earlier on but uh, that's the plus factor when you are riding at 100 plus speeds on highway so it holds itself very well. The tires are very nice, MRF tires are good, it gives you enough traction and uh, power delivery is also very linear exhaust note sounds just superb guys so let's just keep in mind the price that it comes for and the kind of product that you're getting is very nice it ticks all the check boxes out there uh, which is there in the 400 cc bike uh, you get a dual channel abs which works like a charm so it's a good product from bajaj and i would recommend to buy this product if you are upgrading yourself from a 250 cc and above uh, you know in a two or four hundred categories so it's a good product to go for as for starters so that was all about the ownership review and let's head to my second point that I wanted to share with you is the modifications that I've done on the bike they are very minor but I still would like to share them with you I think you know they're very visible as well so the very first thing you'd notice is the visor which is of AS200 and I've bolted them across removing the old visor. The knuckle guards that you see are from KTM Duke and uh, they've fitted, I've fitted them well by doing some DIY. On the main console I've got a mobile holder which has the ability to charge the phone as well. It's a good thing when you're riding long distance you should be able to have something like this. It's not very expensive but it's a good option. So just turning on the ignition key as you can see, um, I have covered 9000 kilometers so it's, it's been a great experience so far. Well as you can see the bike is not clean, it's, it's a little dirty because I've been riding it across in the rain and mud. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next section on how I clean my bike and how I maintain my bike to keep it in tip top condition so that it doesn't give me any problems in the longer ride. As I said earlier, if you take care of your bike, the bike's going to take care of you. So yes, let's move on further. Uh, it's very bad, it, as you can see there. I have to do a lot of hard work now. Let's move on to the next section, guys. 
So guys, before we get into the cleaning of the bike, I just wanted to show you the products that I'm going to use. The first is 3M car shampoo. It's a shampoo which gives me a good cleaning. The second we are going to use is 3M dashboard dresser. It's used for all the plastic materials which basically gets the shine. And then the third one is basically the 3M tire dresser. It's always a good idea to take care of the tires. Last but not least, the chain lubricate. It says TVS but it's 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 applicable so yes let's get ahead further with the cleaning process so first up we're gonna be washing the bike with the clean water um, I'm just spraying it all over the bike so that you know it helps me to clean the bike easily a lot of uh, mud which has basically hardened uh, gets off with the clean water So first up, we're going to be using the 3M car shampoo. It's a very nice product and uh, it gets the dirt out very quickly. The way I use it is I take half a litre of water and then mix it well in uh, with the shampoo and then use this nozzle and spray to spray it all over the bike. It applies evenly and I have no hassles with the process. of foam and spray the liquid shampoo all over it so that it gets soaked. Uh, this is going to be used across in scrubbing off the finer particles of dirt and mud that I have it on the bike. That's done. So again I'm rinsing it with clear water uh, so that I can get rid of shampoo. Uh, this will give the bike the cleanliness it needs. Also it gets the shine on the bike.
uh, rinse it with the water and it needs to be wiped out so that uh, there are no stains on the bike before I use the other product. So you can use a microfiber cloth but I am using the Garka Kapra. So let's wipe it out so that there are no stains left before I use the other products. It's time for dashboard dresser from 3M. So I'm gonna spray a little bit on the foam and then apply it gently all over the areas with this black plastic so that it gets the shine. So now is the turn of the tire dresser. Again the same process. I'm going to spray it a little bit on the foam and then apply it on the tire. It gets the tire the shine that it needs. Basically full black. It looks very pretty when you ride it. The last thing but most important it's it's always important to kind of you know keep the chain looped uh, the bike like these Domino 400 basically gets through a lot of work at the chain area so it's always important that the chains are well lubricated and it works efficiently in that way so there you go guys the bike is bright and shiny looks very nice isn't it so we've come to end of this video, thanks so much for watching this video, do leave your comments, like, share and subscribe, till then, take care, bye.